for himself. You know, I've outplayed this guy completely all the way, and now all of a sudden the guy's got more chips than we started this heads-up battle with, and I've gone down a little bit. I just can't believe what's happening. I, I just wonder if Frankenberger is, you know, sometimes you can be guilty of celebrating too early. Uh, you know, he is back in the thick of it now. This is the, the least chips he's had since uh, they started the heads-up. Well, Feldman limping in on the button again. It worked for him the last hand, but it's not going to work here as Frankenberger raises him with the ace nine. Raise. 110,000. Feldman's been down, 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 down. Now he's got some chips. Surely he's not going to do something foolish now with a 6-4 offsuit. I, I wonder. I mean, how how strong is does Frankenberger think the ace nine is? Is is Feldman capable of getting him off it? Frankenberger will 100% go with this hand if he gets raised here. And I mean, the thing about the re-raise doesn't it represent such a strong hand? Yes. You limp in, then all of a sudden you re-raise. That's what he's doing. He is re-raising here. And Frankenberger could either come back over the top, all in, throw the hand away. I mean, it's like Feldman is a different person. Can Frankenberger pick up on this? Because this is something completely different. This is something completely unexpected. Well, Frankenberger's asking how much he's got. I'm not sure. I'm not sure Frankenberger can call here, Mike. It's a tough play. I don't know that you can call. I think you have to re-raise or throw the hand away. Looks to me like he's going to throw this away, Mike. I think he's trying to talk himself into folding here. When a guy limps in and then re-raises it, you do think he's got a real strong hand. I call. Well, call? this is the wow. last option I thought he would do. Absolutely. Because what's going to happen? He's out of position now. And, he, and Feldman his opponent's has to, going to bet any flop. Doesn't matter what it is. He might have to go all in on the flop. Look, there's 500,000 out there. Feldman's only got eight. I mean, you can't you can't make a bet. That, there's there's just one bet here. No, I think you can bet 400000 right here, right now. And then throw it away if your opponent moves in on you. I think you have to bet. You just can't give up all those chips out there. I'll tell you one thing. Feldman does not like this spot. What's he going to do? He's, he's bet very small here. Very small. 95. 95000 This bet is going to send one of two messages to Frankenberger. You know, he's either got a real powerful hand or he's got a real weak hand. It's one of the two. It's not a middle hand. It's like he's either got three kings or he's begging you to call him with this small bet or he's got nothing and he's just trying to pick up the pot. Oh, my gosh. But he's got he's got nothing, Frankenberger. Hey, Cy. This is Feldman's got less. He is going to make this call. Can wow, you believe it? Wow, Mike. Wow. It that, doesn't seem possible. That is incredible. And, I mean, he, it's almost like, I mean, in Feldman's mind, he must think this guy has a king now. It's almost like the, he's, the guy's letting him hang himself, right? Yep. Doesn't it look like a king? It's incredible he could just make that call with that hand. Now a three comes off, so we're back in the same scenario. Check. I mean, Feldman must feel like if he bets again, he's just going to get snapped off with the nuts. Unless you put the guy on Queen Jack specifically. And then you can move in and take the pot down. He's going again. Well, folks, you're looking at the very hand that I predict whoever wins this hand wins this tournament. Hey, can yeah. Andrew Feldman continue to show heart and continue to bet with nothing? He's doing it. He is doing it. <laughs> it didn't. It didn't look. That wasn't the most confident bet in the world. But we know he's got a four-six. Does Frankenberger? Well, I'll tell you why it's such a good bet. Because he left himself some chips to move all in on the river, just in case he gets called here. If he puts his opponent on a queen jack or something like that, ace jack, where he might throw his hand away if he moves in on the river. And Feldman has sold a good story here, Mike. I mean, he sure wow. Is. He's now bet this three times. He's re-raised him for, for the flop. He's bet the flop. He's bet the turn. Well, all that lack of heart we saw from Feldman earlier. What's he doing? We're seeing now, but... What's Frankenberger doing? He could well be topped by Frankenberger. 
Mike, do you know anything about Frankenberger that suggests what? He, he's coming over the top. He's raising him. He has done he it. He has raised him. He's, this is and unbelievable. He's showing the ace high. This and is showing the ace high. Unbelievable by Frankenberger there. The way he played that hand. You talk about heart, folks. This guy has got it in spades. Whoa.